Different. <laughs> Are we the Andy Devine show, our gang? Yeah. There's probably not many people in this room who know anything of what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's an old TV show that was on on Saturday mornings. It was a kid's show. In, well, it was on a network show in Boston, and uh, and they had, this, <laughs> they had this one guy who was... <laughs> who was, uh, yeah. it was a, <laughs> he was a frog, and he'd come on, and and and, and Andy would say, "Plunk your magic twang, a frog," and Froggy would come on and go, "Aya kids, aya aya aya." That's where that comes from. That's where it comes from. Shall we go on? <laughs> we shall. Welcome to the yeah. Welcome. Thank you. Aya aya aya. <laughs> uh, where do we start? Uh, I'll kick us off. Um, sure. So, what was it like to be working part of the Uncharted series? It was brilliant. Uh, best job I ever had. Uh, if you know, if you can pinpoint an actor's uh, big break, that would be mine. Uh, just it was the first time that I was the lead of, of such a big, uh, big thing. But not something that we knew was going to be that big at the time. But um, and you know that that uh, we've talked a lot about this. The the idea that our input mattered to be to to to, to head up a franchise, uh, something that became a franchise, and to uh, it was me, you know, it wasn't like you were actually technically playing some kind of character. It was, or just a voice because it was full body motion capture. It was just like doing a, a, um, a movie or a television series. And as Andy Serkis always says, you know, the only difference is we wore digital makeup, you know, like <laughs> the traditional stuff. So it was, it was brilliant. I would have to absolutely agree. Yes, best, you would. best job I ever had. And because of all those things that, uh, that, we were given so much leeway, and our input was requested. It wasn't. It wasn't. You know, if you feel like it was, a, if you guys have any ideas, go ahead and do it. If it's not going to work, we'll we'll just not do that. We'll cut that out. But do what you guys feel like you want to do in, in scenes, and feel you know comfortable with changing lines, changing words, whatever. It's all right. Am I banging on the table? No, he, he didn't miss it. <laughs> uh, well, in case you missed it, <laughs> hiya, hiya, hiya. that's what I was going to say. Yes. Sir. So, firstly, happy belated birthday to you. I think your ah. birthday is coming up in a few yeah, days as well. Yeah. So you've got Tuesday, birthdays. Tuesday? Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday, 31st. <laughs> yeah, Wednesday. Halloween. Well, it's Wednesday Halloween. in the States. Yeah. Isn't it a different day here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, Wednesday. Question. Um, Coming from being a journalist to being one of the best sort of voiceover guys in the, in the gaming industry, how did you find that that change over? And, and how did you? This actually... is a lot less work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I, it was I I went to college for journalism, then I got a graduate degree in it, and then I was for a year, uh, but. Like doing this kind of journalism would, would would have appealed to me. This kind of stuff, but. Uh, you know, I was covering murders and, you know, suicides and you know, public hearings. You know, just you know, <laughs> fun stuff. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you know, you know, Senate Senate primaries. That's going to be a recurring theme here. No, but it was it, it was it was it was uh, horrible. It was just horrible. And it just there, I remember there was one story I did uh, when Betty Rubble became a Flintstone vitamin and I went to the factory where they had it and it was like kind of a fun thing and they had a cutout and I did the stand up piece with the cutout and I was I remember thinking that's fun and I was like I this is terrible I, what am I doing the Betty Rubble stories my highlight reel yeah it was, it, so so that was something that uh, moving into acting in general I, 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 actually my first thing when I when I left that I went into uh, doing theater and stand up. I just had to do something where I could just be fun or funny, just something that made no, no money. And I was happier. I was broke, but I was happy. And then, you know, then now I'm here. <laughs> 22 years later. <laughs> I think that's unfortunately what we've all got sorry, time for. Got to wrap up now. Yeah. What? Oh, sorry, we've got to wrap up now. I just sat down. <laughs> I got to go on. I've got to go on. Got to, got to, uh, no, no. What's that? No. One, one more. I have an um, Sudoku as well. It's a specific sure. as well. Basically, obviously, you've had such a varied career. 
from Pretty Rude Lies, the Uncharted series, mm-hmm. Superman. For me, I grew up watching you, yep. the voice of Superman to me. So how does it feel for you in carrying such a diverse group of fans from all age ranges, races and so forth? Has it been a surprise <coughs> to you? It, it, both it, of you in your careers as well, you both chime in. What do you think? Just you know, My entire career is a surprise to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, the, the, and a, a surprise and a delight. I don't want to disillusion anybody. I, I, I just barely know what I'm doing, but somehow it works. I, I, I've been blessed. Yeah. I don't know how I got here, yeah. honestly. And I, mean, I, don't, I don't want that to sound sappy or corny, but I, I really don't. Uh, you know, the one thing I love about everything, I just always like to play make-believe and, yeah. and to be able to get paid to do it. Um, right now, with uh, Troy Baker and I, have started retro replay, Woo! and we're not we're not making a dime doing that, and we're having a ball. And it's like uh, we hope to one day. That's not, not I mean, but we're having a ball. Um, but yeah, you know everything's you know everything's a process. There's no mistakes. Everything happens for a reason. Uh, I love, like you said, that, I mean, I have all races, uh, 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 male, female. Doesn't matter. Um, that's a that's my that's my theme music. <laughs> oh, wait, the guy with the trumpet's coming. <laughs> but no, it's great, and that's one of the things that I, I love about voiceover so much because I do have on camera stuff. I'm, I'm probably gonna do a movie. I think a little small part in a movie in, uh, in the beginning of the year. But the voiceover stuff, I can be, I can be a male, I can be female, I can be a Hispanic, black, white. It doesn't matter, and it's not racist. It's not sexist. It, you're, I can be a creature, you know, and it, it doesn't really have a gender. And it's, it's you know, it, it's... They're the most fun. <laughs> I can't do that, though. <laughs> unless someone like, unless I gargle glass. So <laughs> it's it's brilliant, and, and I want to keep doing it, and I appreciate everybody who... Cause if it weren't for the fans, and again, this sounds hokey and corny, but seriously, if it weren't for the fans, I wouldn't even be here. Right. Uh, somebody's going to watch it. Somebody's going to like it. So, yeah. you know... Especially uh, like it. <laughs> they can watch it and go. <laughs> Next. Yeah. So thank you for that question. That's uh, it. Does it? It means a lot. So thanks. Thanks. thanks.